Welcome again to my channel and um, the last episode I spoke about financing, taking a bank loan, the challenges we had, how we overcome the challenges and again uh, reminding you uh, that don't go to the banks for loans because the bank will only give you an umbrella when the sun is shining, never when it's raining. Raining meaning, you know, when you're in trouble or when you really need them. When you need the umbrella, you will never have it when it's raining, only when the sun is shining. But that's on a lighter note. Um, uh, we do have good relationship with banks. And um, I don't want to disclose the bank that lent us, you know, money um, when we were building the Gulf, Rift Up Gulf Estate. But we have an excellent relationship and confidence was built. So this loan that we took was paid up, you know, in time. Now, um, I want to talk about this time about some of the amenities that we had at the Gulf Estate. You know, obviously, a, 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 an estate as big as that, you can imagine, for example, electricity, the demand on electricity. Huge demand, 1,200 residents. The demand on electricity was huge. And then, obviously, water supply. We had to generate, we had, we had to you know, uh, do our own water recirculation and our own water supply. Sewage, because it was seaward all over. And then internet, internet connectivity and so on. So um, we had our engineers, our electrical engineer, who designed the building with so many substations, you know, the whole estate. And um, all the electrical installation, meaning cables and so on, we are all underground, nothing surface, was nicely done. So the contractor designed it and it was all installed. And then we had generators that we brought in. So there, main supply that we brought in was from the grid, uh, PHCN they, were, they are called. So um, uh, the main supply is from the grid, but because um, it's so irregular, we had to have a backup, you know, generator backup. Obviously, those who bought there, that was what we promised, that you will have uh, power 24 hours. So we had to ba have backup of, um, uh, of, backup of generator. So the generators were there, and then we built the generators up as people were moving in. Because the project was done in phases, and we didn't need to bring in full capacity, you know, before people moved in. So as people were moving in, we were building it up. Now, since we had generators and also power from the grid, we had to install smart meters. Now, what these smart meters meant was that when we were on the grid, the rate on the meters were slower. And then, when we are on generator, the rate will be faster. So you'll pay more when the generator is on and less when we were on the grid. But this is all done by the, by the meter. You will not even realize it if you are a client. And this was all prepaid. So there's somebody on site, you know, that will sell you prepaid units, which you will load onto the meter. And um, then consumption, you know, as you consume, just like prepaid, you know, you, um, you will, you will, you will, um, uh, reload when it's finished. Then water supply. Water supply, we had to have our own boreholes. We had two commercial boreholes that we had done. Then we had a water tank of about um, 500,000 liters, like a, a breathwood tank, uh, 16 or 25 meters high. And um, then we had a treatment plant so the water was on the ground, we had a treatment plant, and then pump it to the tank, and the tank will feed the, re the, the residents. And water supply, we didn't charge for it. Electricity was charged, but water was in charge. It was part of the service charge. And a lot of water is needed also because the plain, place was so green, nicely landscaped, and we needed water to water the garden all the time. The other is the sewage. So the sewage also, 
we didn't have individual cesspools or septic tanks or circles. We had sewage treatment plants. And with the sewage treatment plants, they were all fabricated locally. We had some local um, engineers who came from, from Lagos. They came in, it was all designed based on the capacity, and then built up the sewage treatment plant. And it is still existing. So these three amenities were all done in place. And um, we had staff that were trained to manage. And um, then we had, we had to form now um, an, an estate management um, association or a resident association. It is my practice. When I build, we don't stay on site as facilities management, as a, as a facilities management company. What we do, we encourage residents to come together and form a resident association. Now, the resident association, what was done was to have a board of trustees. The board of trustees, again, were elected by the residents. And then they also elected the management um, um, officers, uh, headed by a chairman and other officers, and they are called MACOM. They, in turn, will now outsource you know, some of the services that were needed, like the gardening, the garbage collection, and so on. Uh, from there, then we also have a relationship as developers with the management company, you know, in gradually, you know, phasing out of the project and handing it over to them. Now, today, if you go on site, the, the, the project on the site is being managed and controlled by residents themselves. And they do hold elections. They have annual general meetings. And um, after every annual general meeting, they do an election. So this is one way I believe that estates you know, can be sustained by making sure that residents have a stake in the estate. If you go to the estate now, even coming in, security, it's no issue. Because there's a security company that is hired by the management company, by, by the resident association and um, controlled from the gate there's only one entrance and um, you come in with a smart card and the boom will open and then you will go through so it's one of the best estates that has been built i do understand now that um, there's a queue in renting a place there so it will take up to about two months to be able to get um, a flat at the rift Taff golf estate so thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my, to my channel by pressing that subscribe button. And we'll see you again. Thank you.